Today, I'm going to show you how to create digital valentines to send your friends and even your teachers at your school. Now, your teacher will have shared these valentine templates with you. Maybe they have sent you a link or maybe they put them into Google Classroom. Either way, when you click on the link, you're going to notice that there's a blue view only button at the top. That means that you can't customize this right now. You need to make your own copy of it. So to do this, you'll click file, make a copy. You're going to rename the copy with the friend's name that you're going to send this Valentine to. So I'm sending mine to Francis. I'll type Francis and click OK. Now you'll notice that blue view only button is gone and you have your own copy. So now you can start customizing it. Anytime you see the words type here, that means you can click there and it's a text box so you can type in your own text. You'll notice that you can change any of the headings like Happy Valentine's Day or Thank You For, three words that describe you. When you see this image icon, that means that you're going to insert an image right from Google search. So to do this, you'll click insert image in the toolbar, and then you're going to click search the web. You'll type in what it is you're looking for. So I'm going to type in kids biking. And then I'm going to scroll down through these pictures until I see the picture that I want. I'm going to choose this one and I'll double click on it. I'll use the blue squares in the corner of the image to drag in and make it smaller so that it fits right inside of the box. Now I'll show you my completed Valentine here. When I'm ready to send this Valentine to Francis, I'm going to click the blue share button in the upper right hand corner. Then I'm going to type in Francis's name. You can type in their last name first. That'll help it come up a little bit quicker. You can add a message here if you'd like, you don't have to. And then on the right hand side, I'm going to click on the word editor. And I'm going to change it to either viewer, that means they can view the Valentine, or I'll choose commenter if I want them to be able to put a little comment on it after they see it. So I'm going to click commenter and then I'll click send. Now this Valentine has been sent to Francis. Now, if I want to create another one of these Valentines for my friend, I'm going to go back to the copy that says view only. And I'm going to create another copy. So I'll go to file, make a copy. Now let's say I want to customize one of the other templates. So here's another template. Again, you'll see that view only button. That means you can't customize this yet. You'll go to file, make a copy. Again, you'll type in your friend's name who you're going to send it to and click OK. Now I'm ready to customize this template. So you'll fill in your friend's name. You will click and drag one of these sayings on the right hand side onto your card if you'd like. I'm gonna click and drag it right here where it says drag a saying here. I can delete this box first. And I'm going to choose this one right here. You're out of this world. I'm gonna make it bigger so it's a little bit more of a focus of the card. Now, if you don't like any of these sayings, you can insert a text box and type in your own saying, of course. Then it says drag clip art here, delete this box first. So I'm gonna delete that box. I'm gonna click and drag over this world clip art. Now you'll notice I need to make it a lot bigger, right? So I'm gonna click and drag the corners out, place it here. I'll insert an image where I see this image icon and then I'm going to list why my friend is so great. Now, again, you can change this text. I'm going to change it to why you're super cool. If you need more space right here in this text box, just click and drag the center box here to make it bigger. And then I'll go ahead and type my reasons in. Now I'll show you a completed example here. You'll see I inserted an image and I'm all set to send it. Now, before I send it, I wanna get rid of these sayings on the right-hand side and get rid of that clip art over there. So I'm gonna click and drag in this gray space. I'm gonna drag a giant box over all of these sayings and hit delete on my keyboard. I'm gonna do the same thing over here because I don't want this clip art to show up. So I'm gonna click and drag a big box, 
and then hit delete. Now, when Elias gets this card, he's only gonna see this. So again, I'm gonna click share in the upper right hand corner and type in his name to send it. Now, you might be wondering how your friends are going to receive these Valentines. Well, if you have email, with your school account, you'll get a notification in your email. Otherwise, your teacher or you will tell your friend to look in their shared with me folder on their Google Drive and they'll see their Valentines there. They can click on it and read it and even comment on it if you chose them to be a commenter.